Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive, another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Tonight we are taking you back to 1996 with a Series 1 box of Topps Finest. I've never had the pleasure of opening these as a kid because I kind of was getting out of the hobby around 96, 97. Not to mention they were pretty expensive back then too. I think they were around like $5 a pack. So we are heading back to 96, ripping these for the first time for myself. 96 Finest is a little, a little bit different. Um, this one's divided up into four subsets, each with their own unique design. You have Phenoms, Intimidators, Gamers, and Sterling. And there are 110 bronze cards, 55 silver. Those are one in four packs. 26 gold cards are one in 24 packs in Series 1. So we have 191 cards in Series 1. And a lot of heavy hitters, Jeter, Griffey, Piazza, Shipper Jones, a lot of Hall of Famers and whatnot. Um, to be found in Series 1. I divided this box up into six spots to try to get uh, a little more people involved in uh, this one instead of the usual four. So thank you guys all for being here. Brittany's here. Jay's here. Joe's Card Corral, Volman, Corey. Good to see all you guys. And I don't know why they decided to put Carlos Garcia on the front of the box. That will uh, forever bother me why he is on the front of the box. Paul L. The Paul L said the same exact thing. That's crazy. Diamond Sports Cards, thank you very much for your support. Let's rip into these. It seems like I won this at an auction. I think this was like $100 I paid for this box. Uh, we have a box of Series 2 coming up two in a few weeks. Um, it seems like the ones buy it now are listed for around like $150, $175. So they can get uh, kind of high up there because of the possible refractors. So I divided this up into four packs for each stack so uh, let's do our math here very carefully so no one gets screwed over the first four packs spot number one adam y i don't know if he's in here or not but you were up first let's take a look at the design uh typical flashy design on the packs uh kind of known by finest to do this so there's our odds in the back silver refractors um actually silver version one and four gold one and 24 it's all things i read already Frank Thomas is in Series 1. There's six cards per pack. Let's go ahead and see if we can find them. Six high-tech cards. Adam Y., good luck to you, man. You're up first. Never opened a pack of these. That is my favorite part about doing this series is getting to go back and experience cards, and I never had the pleasure of doing so. And, of course, we have these stylish wrappers that don't want to open <laughs> at all. So, eh, suck the fun on the break already, would you? They should have put Griffey in the box. They definitely should have. I see Robin Ventura on the back here. And they are not. Look at that. Right off the bat, speaking of the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Sterling, the very first pack on top. Freaking sweet. That is a good-looking card. Off to an amazing start. And there's an Intimidator, Paul O'Neill. Shout out to Norman R. He's a big Paul O'Neill fan. Is this a possible refract in the first pack? Usually they're flipped upside down. Take a look at that Griffey. That is a beautiful looking card. And they started doing all this crazy stuff with card number and theme number and everything else. But wow, that is pretty freaking awesome. Tony Gwynn is upside down. Is it a possible refract in the very first pack? It is not, but that is a freaking sweet looking card. Junk Wax Jigs says, I love this set. I have a good bit of them. I don't think I really have any, but amazing first pack. David Justice Intimidators. Looks like we have a... Who is that? J.T. Snow. That was Jim Tomei for a second there. J.T. Snow was a pretty hot name in the early 90s. And Robin Ventura. But Tony Gwynn and a couple other big names, of course. Ken Griffey Jr. Very, very nice. Adam Y. is in here. This is my favorite player as a kid. Ken Griffey Jr. Freaking sweet first pack, man. They should have put Harold Baines in the box instead of Carlos Garcia. Harold Baines definitely would have been the better choice. They would have been better off putting uh, LaVon Hernandez in the box. I think his, he's really the only notable rookie in this. Every single pack is going to do this now. Raul Mondesi, yeah, that's definitely possible to get one of his refractors in here. I guess we'll have to cut the tops off all these. 25 Perez, what's going on? Chris and Cards. Joseph ceases. This stuff is too new. Where's the sticks of gum? Yeah, I wish that there were sticks to come in here. We'd definitely be eating them. Kevin Seitzer has made quite a name for himself on this channel recently. Brian McRae leading off. 
Matt Young says, what rookies are in this set? Any significant players? The most notable is probably LeVon Hernandez. Hey, El Canon, what's going on? Darren Fletcher, I guess one card per pack is flipped upside down for whatever reason. And it looks like we got a pocket here. Look at that. A silver Intimidator's pocket. That's pretty freaking awesome. One of those, like, um, what are the pack odds on those ones? Let's check it out real quick. This mangled wrapper. So silver is one in four packs. We should be seeing one of those. But definitely cool. Steve Avery up next. And Barry Bonds. Intimidators. These are pretty crazy, wild designs. I like these. And uh, Kevin Seitzer, not the um, crazy 93 select card that we've all come to love. Good pack, though. Two more left. Nice bonds, nice pocket in that one. I don't even know why I'm trying anymore. <laughs> Joe Yankees in here. Ramon Martinez. And Pedro Martinez. I feel like Ramon and Pedro are always together. And Joe's card, Corel, $5 Super Chat, says, Sadly, Carlos Garcia was a Pirates' best player at the time. Super dark ages. I guess they thought he was a rising star. Joe's card, Corel. Thanks a lot, man. Corey, if you could please post a link to Joe's card, Corel's channel, and he's on it, please click on that link and give Joe a um, subscribe there. Good, definitely a good friend and our childhood best friend. Yeah, Carlos Garcia, I never really cared for him. I think probably around 96, I was probably real stoked on, like, Jermaine Allensworth or somebody like that. Pedro Martinez is definitely a nice one. Delon DeShields is a PC guy for Corey. Steve Avery, I don't know why they flipped um, certain cards upside down. Bobby Thompson, Oral Hershiser. I know some people that collect him, and there's Ramon Martinez. Jose Guillen was the big one in 96. I remember the craze for his 96 Bowman card. At one point, that was like a $30 card. I think Joe was on that bandwagon. I know I was. Now you can usually buy it out of a dollar box or even less. I keep putting my scissors away. I don't know why. Down on the last pack, the first stack. Yeah, Jose Guillen's rookie card was 96. Looks like we have... Brian Hunter, and he went by a Brian L. Hunter for a while there. Brian Jordan, Tim Salmon, and a Brady Anderson. Gamers, another Tony Gwynn Sterling card, and Kilvio Varis, name I have not said in quite a while. It's a pretty cool looking card, though. Phenoms, and also Brian L. Hunter Phenoms. Good old Becca prices. Oh, yeah. We all grew up looking through Beckett, I think. Checking the prices every single month, going to the card shop and looking through them. A good stack, though, Adam Y. You definitely got some nice ones in that one. Takes us to stack number two. Joe Yankee in the house. The next four. And uh, like I said, we have Series 2 coming up probably in two weeks. I think next week we'll do 92 The Rookies. And then... Um, we got some long ones coming up here pretty soon, like um, 11 boxes and 91 score. I know everyone's really excited about that. But, I mean, we, the one box and 91 score we opened recently, there's like five Chipper Jones rookies in there. Yeah, no such thing as eBay back then. That's right. Alan Bennis on the back. Ben Blevins, what's up, man? Mike Fetters leading off. John Allrude in a Darren Fletcher. No sign of any refractors yet. Nagel and Will the Thrill Clark for Willie 565. Shout out to him. Diehard Will Clark fan and Alan Bennis in the first pack. And Dave Shaw, I'm guessing I already know the answer, but does peeling that annoying plastic cover off hurt value? Uh, I think some people would tell you yes and some people would tell you no. I know people do it when they're... I mean, if you send cards and they get graded, obviously you want to yank that cover off of there. Garrett's is Will Clark fan here. Yeah, De Will Clark definitely has a lot of fans. I think a lot of people would like to see him get more Hall of Fame consideration. Todd R says, John, you have to find a signed mantle during the 11-box marathon. That's the whole goal, man. I hope so. It's a nice one. Carlos Delgado, Phenoms. Tim Wakefield. We, me and Joe have been flipping out about that one back then. And uh, Hall of Famer Larry Walker Refractor. Look at that. Freaking sweet. Intimidators Refractor. Very, very nice. Joe B., you got the, the, the hot hand, man, when it comes to getting refractors. You've got a couple nice ones before. 
Very, very nice. Larry Walker, really not a high dollar uh, card, more than likely, but uh, that's a freaking nice looking card. Very, very nice. Walker Refractor, congrats to you, Joe, on that one. I like that one a lot. Rob Ventura again. Jose Rio and Ozzie Guillen. Speed and Will Clark got a home run batting practice ball at that 94 All Star game. That is freaking sweet. I remember going to that, though. That was awesome to see that in person. That really was. Yeah, because we didn't actually go to the game. We went to the home run derby in 94 at uh, Three River Stadium. Eric, Joe, and I. Benji Gill on the back. Shane Reynolds. Dave Stevens. Heathcliff Slocum. Not really too much in demand of his cards. Kevin Seitzer again. Travis Fryman and Benji Gill Phenoms. Tim's is pulled a Bartolo Cologne rookie from a Fairfield box today. That's pretty awesome. That's a nice one. The 95 Bowman. And the last pack for Joe. Benji Gill was no Phenom. <laughs> What's up with that? What's up with me not cutting these? I'm worried that I'm going to cut the cards. James says, I wish I was an Oscar Meyer wiener. The only problem with that is that then someone would probably eat you. Todd Huntley in the back. Terry Steinbach. Orlando Merced. Oh, look at this. Kyle Ripken. How does that always happen? You always get the Ripkins, Joe. And it's a gold. Whoa. Kyle Ripken gold. These are supposedly one per box. That is freaking crazy. Check it out. Ripken gold. <laughs> Corey, what is up with that, man? Corey's main PC guy. That's happened more than once. Man, is that a freaking sweet looking card? We got to put that in something. That's probably the box hit right there. We might still see more, but very, very nice Ripken gold. Whoa. <laughs> Corey. Oh, man. Uh, that is that is absolutely brutal, man. Uh, check it out. Beautiful looking Ripken Joe. Congrats, man. Larry Walker, Refractor, and now the probably the only gold card we'll see. Hopefully not, but man, is that freaking sweet. Epic. Daddy R Card Breaks is here. It says, bling before the bling. Hope all is well, John. Daddy, daughter, thank you so much. Good to see you here. I want to post a link to your channel as well. Try to get you to 700. Daddy, daughter, Card Breaks. I think you popping in here gave us some of the luck. Man, is that a freaking sweet Kyle Ripken gold. Yeah, Daddy Daughter's really close to 700. He's about 13 away. Check him out. And click on that link. Whoa. Daddy Daughter says, I love these cards so awesome. These are freaking awesome, man. It's really my first time seeing most of these. Alex Fernandez, Ramon Martinez again. And there is a Todd Hunley. Whoa. That was epic. Epic stack. Joe B, you got some great luck, man. Walker, Refractor, and then the Ripken Gold. Freaking sweet. That takes us to the next one. John A, stack three. Lewis says, I tried to buy into this, and man, I'm a straight dumbass to use credit cards. There's got to be an easier way. Don't want to be missing out on these good breaks. I sent you a message, Lewis, um, I think yesterday, actually, because I don't. I, I want to get your current shipping address. I have a card that you won from the auction the other night. And uh, I want to make sure I have your correct address. So <clears throat> check it out on Patreon and uh, hit me back. 357 MAGA is here. It says, hey, John, are you going to New York with Eric? 357 MAGA. Good to see you, man. I appreciate you popping in. Um, I actually am going to New York with Eric. It was at Syracuse, I think, like the 10th or the 9th or something like that. That weekend, I guess he's doing a break at a sports bar. And um, they invited me to come along with him. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll go. Appreciate that, 357 MAGA. I don't know if you're in that area or not, but hopefully you are. We can meet face-to-face -face finally after all this time. Joe Yankee and Corey are trying to work a deal off the Ripken, it seems like. All right, John A., good luck to you, man. Let's find you some fire in here. Mark Leiter leading off. Jay Bell, 
Glen Allen Hill. And it's a refractor, Glen Allen Hill Intimidators. Not really a super desired one by any means, but um, still cool to get a refractor nonetheless. Glen Allen Hill, Brian Hunter. There's a Wade Boggs. Yankees fan, uh, John A. will probably like that. Pat Henkin, I was definitely stoked on him. He had some good years. Wade Boggs, Gamers, which the Boggs was a refractor for you. Glen Allen Hill does not intimidate me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 357 MAGA, definitely. I hope to to be there. Um, the 2021 one as well. So, yeah, definitely. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah, I'm not even sure what he's breaking or anything else, but I was like, sweet, yeah, I'll, I'll go to New York. Hopefully, I can uh, convince Eric to go to Manhattan so I can go to the, uh, the Hook and Ladder 8 company, the Ghostbusters Firehouse. I've never been there, and I've always wanted to go. So that would be sweet. Dirk Remington is here. Says, kick some butt tonight. Thanks a lot, Dirk. Appreciate that, man. I imagine you're probably out traveling on the road. David Segui, John Burkett, Vinny Castilla, Silver Intimidators. These are freaking cool. I like these a lot. You never know when you're going to turn around there. Alan Bennis, Troy Percival, Phenoms, and Chuck Finley. Stop in Philly on your way to New York City. I'll ask Eric. We've got two packs left for John A. I think the best car we've seen so far is the Boggs. And look at that, Derek Jeter in the back. Freaking sweet. Fred McGriff leading off. This is going to be a good pack. Ozzy Gein. I thought it was going to be Ozzy Smith for a second. Ozzy Gein gamers. Back to back Ozzy Geins. What is up with that? It's the third time we've seen him. But, oh man, that Jeter definitely saved that pack. Jeter Phenoms. Probably the best card in Series 1. Definitely one of them. That is freaking awesome. I feel like John A has pretty good luck getting Yankees. Very, very nice Jeter. Beautiful looking card. I like that one a lot. Definitely save that pack. And we got one more left. Dark says this time heading north to northern Wisconsin. Card hunt, drink, fishing. That sounds like a good time, man. I wish you well and safe travels. And hopefully you bring back tons of 90 tops. <laughs> a lot of 90 tops. Final pack here. It looks like we have Apollo Neal again. Glen Allen Hill. Possible new omen. Let's put him on a list. Dave Neeson. Whoa, look at that. Derek Jeter again. Oh, Phenoms. I was really, really hoping that was going to be a refractor or a gold or a silver. Back-to-back -back Jeters. Benji Gill, Javi Lopez, or as we all know him by now, J.B. Lopes, and Paul O'Neill. Two Jeters. Pretty freaking awesome, though. Junk Wax Jakes, I'm drooling over that Jeter. I PC him big time. Maybe John A's in here. You guys can work out a trade or something like that. That'd be sick. Two Jeters, that's pretty freaking awesome. I'll take it. Number four is Corey. Maybe Corey will get uh, somebody that Joe PCs, and uh, <clears throat> you guys can work a trade off for that Ripken Gold. John A's in here. It's just woohoo. John A, good to see you, man. I'm glad that you're stoked on that stack. Got some Yanks for you. Two Jeters, a Boggs. You're probably not too stoked on the Glen Allen Hill refractor, but I still get excited pulling those regardless just because. You know, there's only a couple per box. Joe Yankee says the Ripken is 90 plus shipping on eBay. Totally serious. Look it up. Brady Anderson leading off here. Rod Beck in that gnarly handlebar mustache. Lyle Mouton. Silver. Todd Hunley. Jason Giambi. And there is Darren Fletcher. So, first pack in, not too great. Hopefully, we can turn our luck around here for Corey and not pull him on to see Refractor. Delano De Shields, that's pretty cool, though. Corey P sees him. Jim Tomei leading off. Nice sign so far. Mike Piazza right after him. Intimidators. First time seeing that. Tim L says, Lyle who? Denny Nagel. <sighs> Thankfully, it was not a Refractor. I like Denny Nagel, but uh, not that much. Pat Henkin, Mark McGuire. Not sure if Jay Hadley has that one or not, but that's a pretty cool Big Mac. And Delon DeShields, good pack. Definitely a good second pack. Kind of saved the first one. Lewis Photography says, do you want that Griffey? Um, which one? The one out of the first pack? Hmm. 
I'm like real worried I'm going to cut the cards. Hype is here, says I have that Maguire. That's a cool card. I like that a lot. I'll never forget Danny Nagel's Grand Slam. I was just like completely overwhelmed when that happened. Criterium Race was here. Lee, thank you for joining us. Always good to see you. Look at that. Frank Thomas on top. Another sign of a good pack, hopefully. Mark Langston and Cecil Fielder. Silver. Chuck Finley, Eric Karros, and Tim Salmon. So not too bad of a name there. Cecil Fielder will more than likely, 99 to 1, never make the Hall of Fame, but still had a decent career. Hey, Aaron Lewis. Oh, man, that, that PSA Griffey is probably out of my reach. I'm sure somebody out there would want a PSA Griffey. <clears throat> There's a lot of Griffey collectors in here, I feel like. Chuck Knobloch leading off. Wish I was a 92 score auto card. And you got a Jeter coming up. Another Jeter. That's crazy. Open how many boxes in 93 and like have a hard time finding his rookie card. But we find three in one box so far. Nice Jeter. Mickey Tennelton and John Allrood. So not a bad stack, Corey, by any means. Definitely got some, some nice names in there. It's a shame the Ripken wasn't in your stack. I just feel like that's luck always against you. And um, quick intermission here. I wanted to share this with you guys. I sent this to Corey yesterday, but um, I was looking for Desert Shield cards on eBay, and I came across this one. So take a look at that. GMA Authentic Delano De Shields card. And I was trying to figure out why it was graded authentic to begin with. It was, it was labeled under Desert Shield. Obviously, there's no Desert Shield on there. There's no emblem or seal. And there is what looks to be a fecal matter stain or poop stain <laughs> right in the middle of the card. So why would you send this in to GMA or anybody for that matter? Like the corners are like roughed up. There's a freaking poop stain on it. And they didn't even grade it. They just graded authentic. Authentic what? Authentic 91 Tops card? This is like $9 on eBay. I kid you not. Look it up. It is on there. GMA Delano De Shields <laughs> in awful condition. Wow. <laughs> I don't get that. It's, re it's so ridiculous. Chris A is up next. I had to share that with you guys. Like, what is up with this card? This is insane. And, like, they had it labeled freaking Desert Shield, too. Like, it's not a Desert Shield card to begin with. And GMA, of all places, like, why are you labeling that authentic? Like, yeah, it's it's an authentic '91 tops card. No grade, nothing else. <laughs> Use TP. Yeah, there's a freaking poop stain on it. Was that a joke to send that in? GMA will give you a ten. Jeez, Tim Wakefield in the back. Good luck to you, Chris A. Let's find you some nice names here. So far, we're off to a good start. Lady Dykstra, Tom Goodwin. We got a Jim Tomei. Is it gonna be a parallel? It is not. Gamers, Paul O'Neill. Seen quite a few of that card tonight. Barry Larkin, first time seeing him, and Wakefield. A couple nice names in there, a couple Hall of Famers. Luis Mendoza, I missed uh, I missed your question. I see you say, John, you see those sponge or poop stains once in a while? They're yeah, like the Mel Hall 91 Tops. You see those poop stains on the Mel Hall. Our buddy had a card collection that um, he, he had this Mel Hall card that he like treasured, and there was a big poop stain on it. I think he had it like, I don't know. I think it was like a freaking screw down case. <laughs> Something ridiculous. That was like the, the hot thing in the 90s was the freaking screw down cases. It took you five minutes to get the card out. Tom Pagnozzi leading off. Um, who is that? CYS Sports. Hey, thank you for joining us. He, you actually have the next spot. Um, Brian Recker. Recker. I, I don't remember him at all. Delonda Shields, is it going to be a parallel? It is not. It's a regular base. Darren Fletcher, Ruben Sierra, Intimidators. And there's Dave um, Stevens. I don't remember Dave Stevens very well either. Two more packs left. Paul else says, who the hell? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I don't know. Two packs left for Chris A. We've seen some nice ones here tonight. On the back, Orlando Merced... Ricky Bonus, David Cohn, Intimidators, Dante Bichette, 
crazy wild hair flapping in the wind. Delonda Shields, again, that's like the third or fourth time seeing him. Looks like Bill Swift in his Rockies uniform and Orlando Merced. El Canons is a Rockies fan. I've never heard of him yet. I don't remember that guy at all. Must have only been around for like a season. Last pack for Chris A. Chris A gets some pretty good hits. He's he's pulled some some fire out of recent breaks. So maybe this will be his redemption here on this last pack. So we haven't seen a refractor in a little while. So Mitch is out of Nelly Fox tops yellow background. The cut is so bad. I don't know what year. Interesting. David Justice leading off. Andy Pettit phenoms. Brady Anderson. It is a refractor. Brady Anderson refractor. Bronze. I was a big Brady Anderson fan growing up. Definitely came out as a PED guy years later, but we definitely liked him in like the early 90s. Tim Salmon, Chad Curtis, and J. Bell ends that stack. So one refractor. And those are nice looking. I like those a lot. Very, very flashy. That is the final stack or pack for Chris A. That takes us to Chris Y. CYS Sports, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you participating and tuning in. We got four packs for you. I don't know if you've been here the entire time, but we pulled a Larry Walker refractor earlier, several Derek Jeters, a Griffey out of the first pack, Frank Thomas Piazza, lots of Hall of Famers, and we are on your stack now. The final four packs of the night. And then, um, like I said, two weeks from now, we will do Series 2. I scored two boxes of these. They were around $100 a piece. I think the one was like 115 but I thought that was a pretty good deal based on what they were going for. Buy it now and whatnot and sold listings. Three Jeters, yeah, definitely uh, was a Jeter hot box, which is something I don't come across too often. Steve Avery leading off here. Chili Davis and a – who is that? Is it Carlos Perez. Carlos Perez Silver. I definitely remember him. I haven't heard that name in quite a while. Carlos Perez, pitcher for the Expos. John Allerud, Dean Palmer, and John Burkett in the first pack. Dave Shaw says, this box is awesome. Hit that like button. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, definitely delivered so far. Let's see if we can yank something else. I also pulled a Cal Ripken Gold earlier, which was freaking amazing. Those are about 1 in 24 packs. Carlos Perez with no phenom. Bobby Thompson leading off. John Smoltz, the Hall of Famer there. Mark Langston is not a refractor. Gamers card. Tim Wakefield. Bobby Bo and Chris Hoyles. I think Corey might PC Chris Hoyles. Next pack up. We got two left before we rip open 11 boxes of 91 score. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you tonight. But I will do that to you pretty soon. Corey says, give that Jeter to Joe Yankee for my stack. Are you sure? Dave Neeson on the back. Tony Gwynn on top here. Heathcliff Slocum. Hideo Nomo. I've been stoked about this card. It's going to be a refractor. It's a silver Hideo Nomo. It's a second year card for him. That's pretty freaking awesome. I like that one. We would have flipped out about that one back in the day. Uh, Gwynn Sterling and Nomo Silver. Man, he was a huge prospect back in 95. Greg Colbrin. And Dave Neeson. That is a nice number. I like that card a lot. Phenom Silver takes us to our final pack for CYS Sports. Peel it. <laughs> Nomo was fire in the 90s. His People were like assaulting each other over his rookie cards. It was insane. I, I All I could do was sit there and dream about owning one. Sean Fishman's here. What's happening? Final pack. Nago on top. Dante Bichette. Fred McGriff, Intimidators, Orlando Merced, Jose Mesa. He had some great years, too. And Rod Beck ends that stack out. And that is it for tonight's break. Definitely a good box. The um, Any of you guys that missed it earlier, this was probably the box hit, I would say, this Kyle Ripken gold. Definitely a little bit off center, but um, very, very beautiful card. Dave M says Rod Beck. Shout out to you, Dave M. There's definitely a few Rod Beck uh, collectors out there. Very, very nice. Beautiful card. Joe Baumgarten got that one. And he also got the Silver Refractor for anybody else that missed out on that. The Larry Walker Intimidators. And we saw three Derek Jeters, a Griffey. Lots of good stuff tonight. Definitely a uh, fun break. Appreciate you guys that participated and all you guys that watched. 
like I said, next week we're going to do go back to 92, do Don Russ the Rookies, um, and then we're going to do Series 2 of 96 Finest in two weeks, and then um, we'll go from there after that. So I appreciate you guys watching. That was definitely a good time. Hopefully I have a video for you later in the week, maybe another auction coming up. So stay tuned for that, and um, I will see you guys all in a couple days. Have a great night, you guys.